I think uh, the critics of uh, historical black colleges and universities who feel that it's no longer necessary for them to continue to exist uh, simply because of uh, the uh, Civil Rights Act are grossly misinformed and they don't understand uh, the role that these institutions play. For one thing, uh, historically black colleges represent only 3% of institutions of higher learning within the United States. Uh, however, uh, we graduate 16% of um, uh, blacks who uh, attain uh, collegiate degrees and moreover, uh, 20 3% of those who receive degrees in the sciences and engineering. And we're the number one producer of black engineers, uh, the number one uh, producer of, uh, of blacks uh, in the sciences, and the number one producer of, of uh, black architects, black veterinarians, and blacks who get admitted uh, to medical school, and nursing. Uh, so it's a, it, it's a very vital role. Moreover, it's uh, in many cases, we are the largest employers within given townships. We have a relationship uh, K through 12 uh, to entice students and nurture students and provide mentoring uh, throughout the, the whole process. And um, we, uh, we, 85 percent of our students are in fact on some form of financial aid. Uh, Washington Monthly was uh, uh, recognized uh, a number of HBCUs within the last two years uh, based upon criteria that are more equitable, namely the anticipated graduation rate and exceeding that uh, given the number of poor students based upon Pell Grant eligibility who are brought through the ranks of bachelor's, master's, and doctoral degrees. And moreover, on the basis of um, of that social mobility in and of itself. On research expenditure, we uh, historically black colleges are in the forefront of conducting R&D uh, for uh, liberal arts and baccalaureate universities. We lead the pack in, in doing uh, uh, research and development. And moreover, uh, the other criteria that, uh, they, that was used was in service to the nation based upon student participation in, uh, in outreach, community engagement, in uh, Peace Corps, in National Teacher Corps, in National Health Service Corps, and in ROTC. So I, I think that it, uh, the role of HBCUs is absolutely critical. And the fact that uh, the majority institutions have not stepped up to the plate with respect to outreach, have not stepped up to the plate with respect to providing an adequate number of scholarships to deserving students, both on the basis of merit uh, and on the basis of uh, economic need, uh, is, uh, is dramatic. Uh, so I think that uh, uh, in many cases we continue to be feeders uh, for such institutions and we are also developing our own uh, graduate programs that, uh, that by the way, uh, have, uh, been, uh, uh, have been welcoming with respect to uh, majority students, Caucasian students, students from the, throughout the world and uh, schools like Tuskegee University are not just a local, regional, state institution. Uh, we attract students from 50 states and 20 foreign countries. And we're one of only three private land-grant universities in America, namely Tuskegee University, Cornell University, and MIT. And even though I'm, I'm an MIT grad, for, uh, as far as I'm concerned, those other two are in good company.